J.P. Dumini, current vice captain of South Africa, a T20 national cricket team. Dumini is married to Sue and together they have a daughter Isabella. And his faith has been vibrant since he had an encounter with Jesus since 2013 when he was touring Sri Lanka. I'm going to ask him to share his life very briefly and uh, you and I, we count it our privilege. He's not only a, a cricket icon, but he is also a man of God who carries the passion of Jesus. And he's serving. Come on. He's not. Hey, listen. For a pastor, this is the pulpit. For him, cricket is the pulpit. Come on, somebody say amen to that. Every time he wins, every time he stands there, how many of you know people are celebrating Jesus all over the world? Come on. And through his passion that God has given him, he's founded a foundation that serves real, sincere, committed people with igniting passion for young people, training them, especially the underprivileged community in schools in Western Cape area. They're serving Jesus by serving this underprivileged. What a privilege that we have today. That he stands here not only as a cricketer, but he stands here as a man of God. Please welcome JP. Morning everyone. You know, as I was sitting there, uh, Pastor mentioned something about Jesus is not a celebrity, he's the King of Kings. And often, in this, especially in this country, most cricketers are treated as gods. And it's great to be in a house this morning where I'm not treated like a god, but we are serving and praising the ultimate God. So I just want to thank you for the opportunity to be here this morning. It's, it's great to, to fellowship with you. It's great to be the presence of the Lord. And... I wasn't actually expecting to speak today, but, you know, to, an opportunity to, to, to share one's testimony is a true privilege. And, you know, here I am, and having an opportunity in India of all places to share my story, it's a true, a true, true blessing. So thank you for that. I truly don't want to make today about me, so I'm going to keep it as short as I can. But I came to know the Lord in, in 2013. And I grew up in a Catholic church and for me having a relationship with God was never the forefront of my faith I knew God I knew who he was but I never really understood the, the true meaning of what a relationship with God meant I would played for many years and I'd went through a process where yes I didn't know I knew him but I never had a relationship with him and I felt that there was a massive gap in my heart and I tried everything to try and fill that gap I tried partying I tried drinking and the next day after these big nights I could never understand why I never filled that gap but today I know that the reason why I haven't filled that gap until until 2013 was the fact that I never knew who Jesus Christ was ultimately and ever since then it's it's been an amazing journey and you know, the, to have the opportunity to, to come to a place like India. I had the privilege in Delhi a few years ago to, to share my story at, uh, at a Christian school, a school where there were 3,000 kids. And there I was trying to grasp the fact that God had placed me in a place or a country that is stricken by religion. He had placed me in a country that is overwhelmed by different kinds of, of cultures and, and people and there I was having the great opportunity of sharing my story how beautiful is that but here I am and you know I make mistakes every day I sin every day but I have the opportunity when I bow down on my knee as we were singing the songs today I have the opportunity to say Lord I'm not perfect I do apologize for the sins that I commit daily, but you forgive me. You have died on the cross for me, and I thank you for that. So today, I just want to say and encourage all of you that it's great to see you guys here praising God.
and giving Him all the praise. So I thank you for this opportunity to share a small story of, of my life. But the ultimate story is what happened on Calvary. Christ on the cross. And we praise you. Thank you. Amen. Shall we all stretch our hands towards Him? Father, we release your word upon his life. That you have chosen him to be the light of the world. And you have brought him to Mumbai and you brought him to India. India is the platform of God's glory. Mumbai is the gateway. And we pray from today onwards, your light will shine on that cricket field from today onwards. That you'll bring for that promotion. You'll bring that purpose in his life so that your light will shine in him and through him. We speak your blessing upon him and Lord, his wife Sue and Isabella, and Lord, their child, we speak blessing, blessing, blessing. No weapon forms against him shall ever prosper. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, every unspoken need be met in Jesus' name. And we pray also, Father, that Proverbs 19, 17, as he serves the underprivileged children, you said, when you serve the underprivileged, you lend them to God and God shall reward you. I pray from today onwards, there will be increasing rewards. Blessing, 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 promotion, acceleration in Jesus' precious name. And all God's people said, Amen.